Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I will be talking about sickness in tortoises and how you can spot a some some type of sickness or if your tortoise is not doing well and how you can possibly treat it. So what I will be talking about today and showing is my experience with my tortoise with this specific illness. You should not repeat what I'm doing to your tortoise if it has the same symptoms. You should definitely consult a veterinarian. I am not a veterinarian, so I just wanted to put that out there. So let's get into it. I first noticed something was wrong with Coconut because he started kind of limping on his right rear leg. So he wasn't completely limping, but he was weaker on that leg. And if you think about it, tortoises, they're literally a shell with legs and a head and a tail. Anything that hurts or anything, they can exactly like, ooh, my belly hurts. No, it's just, it's gonna manifest in the body parts that are out in the open. So your tortoise limping could mean so many things. It could mean a broken bone, it could mean a bladder stone, it could mean some kind of kidney infection, it could mean endless stuff. So if you see that anything is off, you should definitely take him to the vet. And especially if limping is one of the symptoms, that's not good. So I was immediately concerned and I will try to insert a few clips of it limping. I don't know if you can see it very well, but he was limping. So I was concerned, obviously, and I drove right to the vet and this is just a ride there. So when I arrived, they x-rayed him, they, they did a bunch of analysis, blood draws, fecal analysis, they did anything they could to figure out what was going on. They ended up saying it was something in the liver. There were some values that were very high and weird. They didn't exactly know if it was from the diet or if it was an infection, but later when the blood results came back, it was definitely more towards infection and not a diet problem. So they gave me this medicine that I need to give him orally and then some vitamins that I need to inject in his little butt. So this is the part where I actually teach you and show you the different methods that I use to administer medicine on my tortoise and maybe you can try this too. So one thing that is essential is having some kind of fruit or just something that they really enjoy. This time I had some zucchini which he actually really likes and you basically just want to trick them into eating it and then when you get the chance you stick the syringe in their mouth without them realizing it and you push that medicine in like I did here. He's not very happy. Then you just want to, if he trusts you again this is, you just want to let him eat a little bit as a treat and then repeat the same thing, the same process. If Depending on the quantity of the medicine, I can tell you this, they will not be happy with you. So this is the next day. Today I had the kit ready. I had the injection, carrots, a little q-tip and the oral medicine. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I got some carrot right here and the medicine. So I'm just going to entice him with the carrot. Like he's already eating, god. And then squeeze this in his mouth and hopefully he won't absolutely hate me. Alright, not bad. Yeah, now he knows what's up. did it. <laughs> He's not happy at all, but, <laughs> but I did it. And that's how you give medicine to your tortoise. Okay, so this part is a little more graphic. I'm going to give him his injection. There you go. And I also have this cotton bud so that if there is any bleeding, I can just 
uh, press on it to stop it. It usually doesn't bleed, but if it does, it's just, just in case. And yeah, this is the injection. It's very little, so yeah, let's do that. And there you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's normal. He just peed because he was not happy. But that's normal. So I'm just gonna put him back because he's pretty upset with me right now. But yeah, that's how you do it. This is, I mean, this is not a tutorial. You should definitely not do this at home if you're not trained or anything, but I just wanted to show you how I do it and how his recovery is going. I literally build him a ramp and this is how he decides to go up. And if you're wondering about Kiwi, this is her enclosure right now. I ended up adding some stones as well. So it looks really good with the plants. I just love it at the moment. And she's doing good. I just fed her some cabbage, which you actually should not do but I literally had nothing else to feed her so this was like a last minute thing and yeah, I, sh I definitely don't recommend that you feed cabbage to your tortoises but that's how her enclosure looks like and she's in inside her enclosure right now let's, let's see if you can see her I don't think you can, but she's in there and yeah, that's how the tortoises are today. And here's a little cameo of Frank, which is also doing great. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was somehow helpful. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, subscribe, and I also released new merch on my Teespring, which is linked down below. And I will see you next time.